Hello and welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to see what can we write about the introduction for Java developer interviews. So we will be discussing few projects like uh, what projects that we can include in our interviews uh, so that we can create a better introduction and we can make the interviewer feel confident enough to hire us. So let us see. And proceed i am directly giving here samples you can take the sample copy paste it as it is and you will be good to go so java developer project description here you can read the introduction that hello my name is xyz and i am a software developer with this much years of experience in software industry we have to include see if you observe I have included about scalable Java application. I have included Java 8, Spring Hibernate and Studs, the possible frameworks. So I have tried to include the basic Java technologies over here so that we can say uh, in the interview that uh, we, are we are having enough knowledge about the basics of Java. Uh, so this part you can definitely include. You can take it from here as it is and include in your project. Now, this is another example where I have same thing I have mentioned a uh, little bit differently that I have got a strong understanding of the language and core concepts. I experienced it for a Java development like Eclipse at Intelligent IDE. As well, the experience framework is Spring and Hibernate. I have not included over here starts. And also I have mentioned over here variety of projects. Now see, if you are going for introduction, you have to mention that you have worked on the projects. If you are not showing that you have not worked on the project, then definitely uh, your chances of getting hired uh, reduces a lot. So if you want to get hired, you have to mention what project you have worked in. Now, this is the third sample. In this sample also, we have included the different frameworks and along with that, we have included the different databases. So see, the top three databases that are mostly used are MySQL, Oracle, MongoDB. MongoDB is a NoSQL database I have included. The purpose of using uh, MongoDB is because you can uh, show that you are knowledgeable in the database uh in the structured database right mysql and oracle but also you are aware of the no sql databases like mongodb so make sure that to include such things in your interview you can also copy paste this entire thing as it is in your introduction part and create your beautiful introduction now from here in this slide i am including a uh, few projects along with their modules now like banking project there are a lot of module in the banking project now if you are showing that you are working for a banking project you never have to include what the bank you have worked on because generally this information is confidential one so you never have to worry about telling that but never do show off that you have worked on two modules uh till two modules it's okay but you have worked on four modules five modules it's clear show off and chances of you getting uh rejected is fair enough because you seems a little bit overconfident over here so i have included slide by slide two or three modules only you can take the modules from here and you can tell like you can say in the introduction that uh i in my previous company or in my current company i have worked on a banking project in which i have developed user management module uh, and account management module in user mo management module the module is responsible for managing the users of the bank application like registering of the user logging and managing their profile now this much module is enough uh, for you to show that you have worked on the banking project. Also, you can also tell about account management module, like account creation, account balance, and account transactions. But make sure if you are including account management module, you have got enough knowledge about Spring Boot security. If you are showing Spring Boot, then Spring Boot security, or you must have enough knowledge of uh, more things in Spring Boot, like uh, dependency injection constructor injection 
these are the uh, another module about transition module and report module transition module like i told you it is similar to the account module that we previously discussed so make sure you have got enough knowledge also you can add a few more concept from your end like you have used inheritance while developing the account module or the transaction module and you can create a little bit scenario make sure that you don't uh extend your uh, uh transaction model explanation like more than 40 to 50 seconds make sure it is shorter than a minute for a single project also report module is one of the easiest one that you can explain while telling you can tell that i have used the report module and for report module we are exporting the report that will be for customer to access the report so we are exporting the report in the pdf format for customer so it is one of the good model to show in your project make sure if you are showing the banking project you include the reports module that is security module obviously and integration module so i will recommend to avoid the security module because it may lead to lot of another questions you can include integration module like email gateway payment gateway sms gateway like on your transaction or sms used to hit so you can tell if you are showing integration module you can tell that you created apis for sms sending by using a third party service and you have linked the third party service apis with your own apis uh, and same way you can tell about payment gateway also or email gateway yeah another project one of the like common projects everyone uh, try to make uh, sure that they show the project of healthcare only the reason they are uh, everyone wants to show healthcare project because everyone knows how the hospital works internally and it is really easy to explain there is a patient management module there is an electronic health record module you can show both of them patient management means you will be storing patient information um demographic data their medical history medication you can show whatever you want you can write in your own words uh even a no voice can also write it electronic health record module will allow professional to store and access patient medical records electronically including lab result radiology images like mri CT scan and progress notes this is clinical decision support module you can include this also and telemedicine module so i have just showed you different modules make sure you include only two of them in your project if you are showing so that you don't have any problem and generally when you show your experience in that you mention the name of the company you just mention the name of the project and the modules uh, in your resume and you are good to go this is prescription of management model and billing and claims management model. Billing and claims management model is really good to explain. If you have got enough knowledge about billing, how the billing takes place, not in hospital, but in general, then you can obviously go for it. Population health management model and analytics report. Analytics report model, I will obviously recommend you. Now, let us see the next project. This is another payment gateway project model that includes payment processing model, really good go for it uh, how the payment will process please include this if you want and there is a fraud detection module what does the fraud detection module does how you will help if someone is trying to log in with a wrong credit card or stolen credit card how you will tackle it so for it you will have to do some more reading then only it's possible for you to include this module but yeah this is good module if you are including in your project chances of you getting selected is Obviously, more there is security model. Customer management model is common among all the three projects. Uh, I will recommend always go for customer management model. Order management model is like uh, depending on how many orders were made and shipping and tracking and refund and return. I will always go for refund and return management model. It is easier to explain, easier to develop, and so on reports and analytics module integration model mobile implement model so like these are all the different type of modules that we have more are there fraud detection security recurring payment module customer management module order management model and refund and return that's it so i think refund return i have included more than twice trace but apart from there is a report model and more 
so that's it from my end i will recommend you people to please go through the ppt twice thrice design your own introduction design it beautifully do include the projects if you are showing proper experience go for these modules and include it in proper way if you are working in a small company where your work is like not good means you can't show a proper project and i will recommend to use these projects and it will be really helpful for all of you i hope i can help you please ask any questions in the comment if you have any and do let me know please stay tuned more videos will be coming about how to crack interview and please subscribe my channel thank you